Now, uh, there's a lot spoken about, you know, uh, Roy Lobb, for example, gets a lot of time. We're speaking mm-hmm. a lot about Tabana. We speak a lot about Andy Brayshaw. Sarong now gets a lot of love. Mm-hmm. But we sometimes, we, I think we sometimes pile in the defenders as like a collective. Like, Freo's defence is good. Gee, their defence is good. Yeah, but we haven't yeah. really got to the nitty gritty of it all. So I've got why they are so good this year. How's this for continuity off the back of what they've done their last few years? So Alex Pierce this year has played 20 games. Mm-hmm. That's, la- that's big for him as the well. The three yeah. seasons yeah. prior. Record, yeah. So 21, 10, 20, 0, 19, 11. Mm-hmm. 21 games over the last three years. He's played double that this year. Mm-hmm. Then you got Hayden Young. He's played 21 games this year. Last year he played eight. Yeah, what was the year before seven? that, five. So he's played 13 games in the, in the two years prior. Mm-hmm. Brennan Cox, 22 games this year. 21, he played 12. 20, he played 13. 19, he played 8. Mm-hmm. So less than half a season on almost all of them. Jordan Clark, 23 games this year. 11 last year, 3 the year before that. And last but not least, Chapman, 17 games this year and only 6 last year. Did so he... how is that for continuity? There's 107 games this season combined mm-hmm. amongst them and they wouldn't even get to 107 over the last two or three years combined. Oh, massive. And there's like the talent there that when they're out on the park together. like Well, as a defence, you just need to know where your teammates are. Yeah. That's the most important part is knowing where your teammates are. So Alex Pierce, I think, had a spectacular year being like the... The captain Locked of the down, back line. I know he's captain of the yeah, club, but he went fight. But like captain of the back line, you just work off Alex Pierce's positioning. Mm. I don't know. I just think that back line, uh, as much as I don't think any of them are all Australians, mm. but are they the best yeah. back line all in Australia? Line Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they are they are tremendous, and it's amazing. Phil Merriman, who's their fitness man, mm. old filthy Phil, he's done a good job to get them mm. and the continuity amongst that back well, that, line. Uh, they have very few people who can't be selected. This yeah, weekend, I was going to say they're, they're crazy. crazy. Like that That's yeah. why I'm tipping Peel to win the flag. Yeah, that Peel lineup yeah. on Sunday. You talk about <clears throat> the backups for that defense. Yeah. They had Joel Hamling as a premiership player. Ethan Hughes is there. Yeah. Nathan Wilson's there. Ethan Hughes got an amazing body on him. He's I didn't realize how amazing it was until he was amongst not the absolute elite. Like you know they oh, felt yeah, like he's he rig. Stands out at waffle level. Oh my lord, yeah. he has a nice rig on him. I mean, Darcy Tucker was. Um, Did you take the jumper off at any stage? I went in the shower, the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan in. Um, anyway. But like Darcy Tucker came off injured, and we yeah. won't see him again this year with yeah. a knee. But like he was in there. Uh, Mitch Croden was in there. Yeah. Uh, Connor, Connor Blake needs to get 30. Blakely dominates. Run, Meeks like, the best ruckman at state yeah. level. Neil Erasmus. That, uh, ra- <laughs> the yeah. Yeah. Johnson didn't play. Forward line of Tabana, Josh Tracy, um, Collier. Sturt. Uh, Sam Sturt. Mm-hmm. Like, that is... They've got people out there, don't they? Mm. Um, yeah, you might have one of those classics. Yeah, everyone's available. So the affiliated side wins the comp. Yeah, well, I think that there are now rules in place. You have to, well, you have to, oh, there you, might be You can't two, play yeah. 17 or whatever it is. I think you can play 12. That's right. There's a and they have to play two games the last six or something. You know, I might have made yeah. that up completely. It's still going to be a pretty good 12. Yeah, 12. well, you're feel, picking yeah. the top end 12, yeah. aren't you? So yeah. the bottom, yeah. the bottom 12 nice fall 12. out. Going yeah. back to the Freo back line, I, like, I, I, there's different schools of thought on him, but I really rate Brandon Walker as part of that too. Oh, so I and did I even look, yeah, I should have looked him. Well, he was in and out, and then they figured out that he was in their best six, and then he hasn't left. He's still a teenager. He's like, teenager, yeah, second or third time. year. He's, he sometimes gets you think he's gonna he's gonna book he's in a lot of trouble. And then yeah. like on the weekend he had one where he was running about to get run down or get to get done holding the ball and somehow most people would have tried to handball it and would have been tackled like arm would have been pinned and dropped it. Mm. Instead he just slapped it down th- right. threw it down onto his yeah. foot. Yeah, one handed sort of throw. I was down. like, how has she possibly done that? And it was yeah. play on. No, very good footballer too. Yeah, I like what he brings. Anyway, up. good numbers, X. Yeah, totally. I, I feel yeah. like I feel like Freo is going to be that. more <laughs> nah, nah, they got numbers respect numbers. I feel like they're gonna be more well organized behind the ball because Collingwood's real danger is they get you out the back. Yeah, like they, they get you fast. in transition. Yeah. And I just feel like Freo is going to be have that organisation where they're not going to get caught out. Yeah, what's well, the game's right? going to be? Who can set up quicker? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. can Freo set up behind and get off Pierce? What they need to do? And uh, Cox and Luke Ryan, I didn't add down because he's oh, yeah. been a very, very good footballer for mm-hmm. a few years. Or can Collingwood turn it over and Dugowie? Because they just and, want to go fast, and see what they right? can get out the back and mm-hmm. Quainer and those quick guys. Even like Darcy Moore just puts the foot down and like mm-hmm. goes. Yeah, and that's if Freo's ball movement generally. Allows them to stay pretty much in yeah. like, in their structure behind, which the sometimes ball. hurts them. Yeah, which sometimes, that, yeah, sometimes, sometimes hurts them a little bit. Yeah, um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it's a little bit of rain on the way. I don't think it, I don't think it worries free out the G. But no, no, I'm, no. I'm not buying into the rain stuff anymore. No, nah, there was a, a good team the, yeah, mm. earlier in the season. 